what we saw in like the hobbit with smog mm -hmm. we saw a lot of eye and mm -hmm. we didn't see dragon okay. it felt very much like the classic you know kind of cat looking eyes Mis mystery yeah really what we're focusing on is princess rhaenyra in the center and i like how it she's almost bordered off so mm -hmm. uh, the power in this image is awesome because this displays like the power of targaryens almost at its height or it, at least it, on the rise today we're going to be looking at house of the dragon movie poster we're going to review it and give our thoughts a little bit on how we think the show is going to go mm -hmm. and so let's get into it can you before we actually get to the poster joseph can yep. you run through some of our characters kind of so we have an idea of who we've seen so far yeah so the one that we've kind of been seeing around this young girl that is princess rhaenyra targaryen i believe yeah. that's pronounced correctly it's not going to be perfect yeah. i'm still trying to learn we have a these picture names. of her um yeah we got a picture of her right, right. here that is princess rhaenyra targaryen um yep. and i believe the older version of princess rhaenyra i think is the woman on the far right there Okay. So then we have, I believe, the guy in the middle there is... And she's also the one from the movie poster. I so, think so, yes. Yeah. Well, she's this probably is... going to be... I know Game of Thrones have, has never had like a main character, but uh -huh. I feel like she would be more of your main protagonist. That's yeah. how at least it feels from the trailers, from all everything we've seen so far. For sure. Um, so do you want to look at the poster? Uh, let's, let's keep going with some of these characters. Okay. I just want to... I so the fella in the home. middle, I believe, is either Damon or Damon, da 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 uh, Targaryen. Damon. Um, it's probably Damon. And the guy all the way to the left. Yeah, I'm not sure if that is the same the same fella, but I think it's Lord Lord Khalees. Lord Farquaad. <laughs> oh no 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 no. 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 Uh, Wrong honestly, story. I, honestly, these are all I haven't read Fire and Blood. Yeah, yeah. And so I am still learning these characters. Um, I'm still learning yeah. who they are, how to pronounce their name correctly. But I know that we have a loose concept for the story um, that we should probably shouldn't give away here because I don't. It's kind of spoiler according to the book, so I don't want to. Yeah. I don't want to give it away here. I'm I'm definitely in the process of reading the book. I have, I have not really started, <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm going to have the book read before the show comes out. Yeah. But let's go ahead and look at the poster okay. for it. So it's clearly very dragon heavy. Yeah, just dragons all around. Um, you said her name is Rhaenyra? Rhaenyra, best guess. Best guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, my guy in the chair uh, can't read. <laughs> Shut I'm, kidding, up. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, I'm um, so the dragon looks really clear and really cool looking. Well, yeah, definitely. I think I th Wyatt on the podcast when we've talked yeah, yeah. about this, he's always like, dragons, give me dragons. Dragons. You know? And I think that's exactly what this show is going to give us. Plenty and plenty of dragons. I know he's not mic'd up right now, but off screen, can you really quickly just uh, shoot us? There was different types of dragons. You, you said there was... Like three different kinds of dragons or something like that. Wyvern. wyvern. So why it? He said it's a wyvern dragon. So the wyvern. That, that I think he, I think the wyvern. The, the wyvern is he has yeah. back legs, but his arms are his wings. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So um, all of the I believe all of yeah, the cool, like Game of Thrones like dragons. The other dragons, they were they were very similar. Yeah, they were wyverns. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All un. A kind of like um this is the only dragon i'm thinking of i don't know why uh dragon from shrek she has arms and legs plus she has wings yeah so not a not a wyvern not a wyvern but really cool dragon look to be honest he, at least in this poster the eyes are not accentuated and i like that because every what do you mean dragon by accentuated can huh? i ask what huh? do you mean by accentuated? They're not focusing solely on the eyes. I okay. feel like what we saw in like The Hobbit with Smog, mm -hmm. we saw a lot of eye and mm -hmm. we didn't see dragon. Okay. It felt very much like 
the classic, you know, kind of cat looking eyes. Mis- mystery. Yeah. And it it he ha- it is focusing on his just face, but his eyes aren't huge. I yeah. like that actually. Yeah. Definitely. Um, what do you think of that? I think I think you're right. They are glowing, so they bring attention to themselves. But really what we're focusing on is Princess Rhaenyra in the center. And I like how it, she's almost bordered off. So mm-hmm. uh, the power in this image is awesome because from Game of Thrones, we know so much about the Iron Throne. We know so much about, you know, the thousand blades of Aegon's enemies kind of vibe. Yeah. You know? it, and and so this this displays like the power of Targaryens almost at its height or it, at least it, on the rise. Yeah, clearly she has like not yet forged, but maybe forged... Um, throne Mm -hmm. kind of around her with all the swords but yet it feels like she's looking at somebody about to be like (laughs) jacare it feels very denarius yeah it feels very uh very like she's about this just like sick some dragon on somebody for sure did her wrong for sure i'm i'm curious what do you when when you look at this, I believe this dragon kind of has a greenish skin color. Do you think we're yeah. going to get a variety of colored dragons in this show? Kind of like yeah. what we saw from Game of Thrones? Uh, yeah, definitely. I think there's, there. I mean, we already know there's going to be, um, I, I don't want to spit out a number, but I've, I heard there was multiple dragons already that they've done. I sure hope this, so. For this show. And with each dragon, they want to put as much detail in as possible. So you can't just have. I mean, you could have hundreds and hundreds, but I don't think they're going to have hundreds and hundreds of dragons. You never know. I think there's just going to be like select few that are very detailed. And yeah, yeah, they're all going to kind of have their unique look. Um, Wouldn't that be cool to kind of come in to kick down the door and be like, we have thousands of dragons in one battle right off the top. (laughs) (laughs) Now, I don't really know how the story goes, but that would be sick. But do you know how long it would take to like animate something like they that? They could do it if they're trying to be like show up with a bang, you know. They could. What if they? What if they just spent like I don't even know what the budget for this would be, but they just said, "Hey, design one dragon to this person." And they're like, "Design one dragon to this person. Design <laughs> another dragon." Yeah. And they just created this huge sequence of dragon uh-huh. like a dragon battle mm-hmm. that would be awesome that would be pretty cool i don't know how i mean game of thrones the show has always been very yes they did have dragons but it, to me i always saw it as more drama heavy okay and like you know dialogue and scheming and that kind of stuff for the throne mm-hmm I think it will have some of that, but I don't think they are so heavy leaning on that. Okay. I think it's more going to be about the history that we already kind of know from the book. Or or history we don't know that's not really mentioned. Yeah, we don't know. A little period and of time. The Targaryen The dragons, history. like how they're, they're fo- clearly focusing with this poster on like how they're designing the dragons and that's going to yeah. be a big part of the show. I mean, it's in the title. Yep. So, uh, <laughs> so I think, uh, I think one thing I'd like to hear your thoughts on mm-hmm. is, so we've got confirmation. We talked about this a little bit on the podcast that's going to be coming out. If it's not already, it's going to be coming out next week, but we've got confirmation about the new John show, John Snow, John Snow series. series. Um, just as a little tag at the end of this video, what are your thoughts? Because we now have Amelia Clark saying she heard from Kit, Ter- Kit Harrington's mouth that yeah. he's kind of a part of in development of this new Jon Snow post Game of Thrones series and we also got confirmation from George R R Martin's blog that it's ha- that they're in development. They haven't greenlit it, but it's in development, you know? And with this much buzz, surely it has to happen. Game of Thrones has such like a it, it's pulled at my tug strings, <laughs> you know, in a sense, and it has such a I love the show so much that I'm scared hearing about all these spinoff shows because I've never been a fan of spinoff things. Yeah. To, I feel like most spinoff things, at least what we've seen so far, have not been great. What do you mean? What spinoff things? Any Lord of, any, uh, Lord Lord of the the Rings, Rings, any Star Wars, any, you know. But this is HBO. We'll see. Yes. HBO has, is they haven't done they, they have a, their track record is better than most 
shows production companies. So yes, there is a mm-hmm. chance that it'll be it'll be good. Just fine. We don't have a lot about it. I'm curious how they are going to portray it because if he's on the wall, at least or not on the wall, he's in in the north. In the north, but like that was that was kind of what it, to us it seemed like he was doing. He was going back to the north to mm-hmm. kind of. Um, be amongst the wild yeah yeah reclaim what he he wanted to do that and he couldn't because he had to go back and fulfill a few things Mm -hmm. but there isn't a lot of like wildlings they're fighting with i mean there probably will be like you know some wildlings that don't agree with what they're doing and there'll be some battles probably but i don't know how they're going to portray it because the wildlings He's kind of friends with them now. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see how the what direction they take it. I'm guessing it's probably not going to come out till like 2024. Yeah. Mo- yeah, definitely. 2024 or later, maybe. For sure. And so I don't know. I mean, I mean the I'm- good the good thing about that is that from, you know, here until then, we at least have House of the Dragon to mm-hmm. enjoy coming out August 21st. Yeah. So we'll have we'll have a little bit of a break. I I will be happy and they need to at least have like one or two episodes with Peter Dinklage. <laughs> um cuz he's my favorite character. They the got to bring show. back Peter they if we're talking bring, about and, John. And also because John, I feel like that was one of the the bonds unlikely like you weren't expecting it bonds that fit so perfect mm-hmm. is the friendship between Tyrion Tyrion Tyrion, Tyrion. Tyrion. And uh, Jon Snow, yep. that friendship that they kind of off had on the side that was so unique and it was fun and it kind of just worked somehow. Yeah, for sure. Um, that I feel like that was such a special thing that we have to have that in, in the show. For sure. So bring so, back Peter Dinklage and I'll be happy. Yeah. So I guess uh, any final thoughts before we bounce? August I, 21st. August 21st. We only got like... About two months left. Two months. Yes. Well, ish, less than a little two less months. than two months. A little less than two months till this comes out. But uh, I'm excited about this new cast. Yeah. No, I'm not excited. I'm not excited. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely not going to endorse this show. Come on, and son. I am Josh Wisner, <laughs> and I do not approve of this message. Come on, man. <laughs> Have a good day.